he's bright. He's got a real clever sense of humor and quick mind. He's very, um, he's, he plays goalie. He's, he's cool under pressure. He's, he, all these things give me hope that if there's an opportunity, this boy will be home. Is he a survivor? He's a survivor. Today, October 12th, I'm five feet tall. My whole name is Jacob Irvin Wetterling. My favorite food is steak. My favorite color is blue. Jacob is Patty and Jerry Wetterling's oldest son. <laughs> Jerry put them on top of the refrigerator. I don't know why. They were just being silly. My favorite game is Clue. This is when he had the broken arm. Um, he just knew his arm wouldn't hurt if he had a puppy. My favorite thing to do most is watch football. This is his parakeet. These are happy thoughts. Um, but when you stop to think about how much time has gone by, it's... Uh, Kind of hard to swallow. Jacob was this, this fun-loving, carefree, great sense of humor um, boy. My favorite sport is football. And my favorite TV show is the Cosby Show. My, what I want to be when I grow up is a football player. My favorite hobby is collecting football cards. I don't have a favorite book, and my newest friend is game. I'm finished. We were coming down this road here, and we were just talking and everything, and then this guy, he just came out and he had a gun, and it didn't look, and it didn't, it, I thought it was some kid pulling a prank on us or something, and then he, but it wasn't, and then he told, he looked at Trevor, and he told Trevor to turn off his flashlight, and then he told us he had a gun, and he told us to turn around and go over into this ditch, and put our bikes in there and lay down, and then he came over, and he, he, um, Asked us all our ages, and then he he told Trevor to run as fast as he could into the woods, or else he'd shoot. Then he looked at me, and then he grabbed Jacob, and he told me to run as fast as I could into the woods, or he'd shoot. Heinrich led the FBI to a farm in central Minnesota, not far from the abduction site. It was around noon, I think, when they found Jacob's jacket, which was heartbreaking. In all of these years, we've never had any piece of evidence to show Jacob was not alive. We abducted Jacob, handcuffed him, drove him to Painesville, molested him, and then shot him when he thought law enforcement was approaching. I don't even know how to describe what it felt like hearing his words. I, when he came into the courtroom, all I could look at him and say is, how could you? We found out from his classmates after he was taken that he had this keen sense of um, fairness. He would stick up for kids and he would complain when things weren't fair and I find that just very ironic. Hey Jacob! Happy birthday! When you have a child, it, you make this promise to them. You will be there. You'll be there. What I really wanted to say today is about Jacob. He's taught us all how to live, how to love, how to be fair, how to be kind. He speaks to the world that we, that he knew, that we all believe in, and it is a world that's worth fighting for. His legacy will go on. I want to say, Jacob, I'm so sorry. We love you, Jacob. We will continue to fight. Our hearts are hurting because for us, Jacob was alive until we found, until we found him.